Welcome everyone. In this lesson we review the working principle of the repository and learn to balance the player even after the game restarted. Repository is where we are can create and save variables their value is not to be reset even after reloading into the game. Actually let's create the vault itself. For this opens assets. Select tab storage. Here we create a new repository. Let's give it a name. For example state. Generally, you can create multiple repositories. For example, you can store in one statistics, in another player's balance, in the third something else. And so on. And now press the edit button. Here we can configure the repository and its content. This switch here allows you to specify whether to save store variable state after reloading the player to the game. That is if it is turned off then the state of variables will not be saved. Actually further goes the list of our variables. Let's create variable. As our coins is basically a number. Let's call the variable money. After we created repository and variable, create a new script in which will be interact with the repository. For this open the script section. Click add asset select a script. Let this script be name storage manager. Press edit and do basically the same thing in last lesson. Let's do this so that every time we jump, we get more plus 1 coin. For this choose event and action up. Sections take this block. Select jump. Next we use the vault we've created. For this take the get storage block and in this list select the repository we have just created. We had a load of change of storage. I mean, if there were more, they'd be all over the place. The next action we should do so so that our variable increased by plus 1 dot for this purpose open the first section. Choose number plus. Bindings a variable of a number to a field B. Well, and essentially add to variable money plus 1. Now let's take the block in which we will set a new value for our variable. That is the result summation. For this again choose our vault. And the field of money link from number plus. And now make sure that you set the variable every time a player jumps. I mean, make a connection. Actually, we made the main part of the code. All that we left, this makes so that the value this variable was displayed in the console. For this take block log. Make a connection to after setting the variable its value was displayed in the console. Let's take again storage value. Choose state. That is our repository. And since the variable itself represents as a number. A message which is displayed in the console, it is text, then has a string. So we need it transform. To do this, take a block number to string and just hold between it's like the video. Congratulations! Our script is ready, that is, every time when the player makes the jump. We set the money field in the repository new meaning which is itself is an old value to which we add one. And then we just put it in the console. Let's check out our script. For this close this panel and actually tie our script to an object. Choose for example a panel. Here is our old script. Let's add more alone. Actually choose our script storage manager. And it's done. Now we're left just start our game. Click on the scenes preview. Our scene is uploaded. Click F12 to see the status of the console. Make a jump. And as you can see the value added. Let's update the page. I mean, basically, we're going to go back to a session and let's see if the state will survive variable. Press F5. Here we start it again. Let's make a jump. And how see the value of the variable. That is, we finished on the number 4. Updated page. Continued to jump and as you can see our value is preserved. Each time as we update the page we continue with the same moment we started. Actually, our lesson is over. Thank you for watching. If you have questions remained. Ask them at commentary. Good luck.